TOGAF stands for the Open Group Architecture Framework and it is developed by the Open Group which is a vendor and technology neutral industry consortium with over 400 member organizations. The framework has been enhanced periodically since its inception in the early 90s. The current version as at this recording is version 9.1. The framework is specified in six major parts comprising architecture content framework, the architecture development method, the ADM guidelines and techniques, enterprise continuum, the architecture capabilities framework, the TOGAF reference models. The content framework in TOGAF provides a more prescriptive meta model as compared to Zachman framework and it defines the kinds of building blocks that may be used to describe an enterprise architecture and their interrelationships. A building block represents an architectural or solution component that can be potentially reused. Building blocks are described using catalogs, matrices, diagrams, patterns, etc., which are collectively referred to as architectural artifacts. Unlike the Zachman framework, which only provides the content meta model, and does not prescribe a methodology, the TOGAF content framework is intended to be used alongside the TOGAF ADM or the architecture development method, which is the process model of TOGAF. The architecture development method is at the core of the TOGAF framework and essentially describes the sequence of interrelated steps which constitutes an iterative process. The iterative process can be adapted to the context of each organization to produce a business aligned and organization specific architecture process for describing its enterprise architecture. Although the framework talks about an iterative style of architecture development, it does not comment on the number of iterations or scope of work for each iteration. Hence, the breadth and depth of coverage in each iteration can be determined by each organization to meet its specific needs. Also, the operational aspects of the iterative process, such as, for example, would there be any mandatory checkpoints, how many teams will work across iterations and phases, how the teams cycle between phases, etc., are not prescribed and hence can be tailored to meet the organization's needs.